Okay. All right. I think uh, we got uh, we got quite a few people that that joined in. Uh, thank you. Thank you for joining in, guys. So um, this session is uh, is uh, kind of a session that that that, that we give out to everyone um, who who purchases uh, GeoNet Miner from us, and it's really a, a training session to make sure that you guys are on the right path. Uh, in when you're doing the installation of your miner to make sure that you're able to lock in your hex. Um, so locking in the hex, what that what that means is that once your hex is locked, it takes 30 days to lock in a hex, but once your hex is locked, you are the one who will get 100% of the rewards for your hex. <clears throat> if another miner comes into that hex, they will not be stealing your rewards or, or you will not be splitting your, your rewards with them. Um, once uh, a hex is hot, is locked, it belongs only to the miner that that locks that hex. Additional miners can come in, but they'll be they'll be earning a, re a reduced rewards by fifty percent. So, and then fifty percent for the first miner, and then if there's if there's a third miner, well, they they will both get twenty five percent. So, um, very important that uh, if your hex is still available, that you take the right steps in order to to lock it. So. What it comes down to really is one thing to lock in your hex is the quality of your outdoor installation. So the outdoor installation is uh, the outdoor part of um, of the miner. It basically looks like a, like a dish. It's about, it's about this big. And you're going to install it in a way where you get a very good line of sight to the sky. So what that means is the miner needs to basically have clear sky in front of it. If there's trees around it, if, if there is other large buildings that are in, in good proximity of, of the miner, um, that's going to affect uh, your rewards. The way that that it affects the rewards is um, is that your miner is going to be trying to connect to, to satellites that pass through the sky um, at your location. So whenever a satellite is passing through, your miner is pinging that satellite. And it's going to try to ping... 100% of those satellites. So in order for you to lock in your hex, you need, you need to be pinging 98% of the satellites that fly through uh, through your, your house, that fly above your house. So if you're even hitting like 95% of those satellites, um, you, you will not be locking in your hex. So really what you want to try to aim for is 100% uh, satellite views. And in order to do that, you need to make sure that once your, your outdoor portion of your miner is installed, it's it doesn't have any obstruction on a 10 degree angle on every side. So basically what that means is if, if you take your 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 the top of your miner and you draw a straight line around it and you look on the right side and the left side on a 10 degree angle, that's acceptable obstruction. So if there's obstruction there on a 10 degree angle, that that's acceptable. But the moment you have obstruction that goes above that 10 degree angle, you're, you're going to be losing satellite views and, and you will not be locking in your hex. So the main thing about this install is that you install it in an, in an area with very little obstruction. You know, these things are not designed to be installed in, in, in big cities um, where, where there's huge buildings around you. So try to find an, an open area where, where you could install it. And again, keep in mind that, that 10% um, allowance for obstruction. So I'll, I'll, I'll pause it here and see if you guys have, have any questions up to now. Oh, I do have a question. Uh, in the Baton Rouge area, it looks like they have like a, a, a super hex. I'm not really sure, but it looks like nobody's claimed it. Um, I might know somebody up there that I could put uh, a geode up there, um, but I'm not sure they have a bit. It, it's like a blue area, yeah, right where Bat where Baton Rouge is, and in the center of it, they have a darker blue area. Does it have to be in the center, or does it just have to be in the blue? General, it just has to. It just has to be in the blue area. So a super hex, it it comprises. Um, it, it's compri it's composed of seven hexes, um, and so they're 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 what make up the blue area. And it's the first miner in in any one of those seven hexes that that will lock in that super hex. So, yeah. So what that means is like, although it's seven hexes, if if there is one hex that's that's already locked, one of those blue hexes, 
all seven hexes are are luck. I don't think any of them. I think the the closest one is like eighty one percent or something like that. And uh, I'm just like two hours away. I'm gonna go ahead and drive up there and try to grab it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if if he's only getting eighty one percent, I think he, he's not locking in his hex. He needs to get ninety eight percent for for that. Sweet. So so yeah, that's that's a possibility for sure. Um, okay, I'm I'm gonna take some uh, questions here from the from the chat. When they offered me to buy my unit miner, they said it was locked into my hex. That it happened. There's certain miners in my hex. So the the miners don't come pre locked in. There, there's uh, there because Geonet doesn't want to reward um, a bad install, right? Like if you're installing these in in a very poor manner, why why would you be allowed to to lock in your hex? So the reason why they ask for you. 30 for 30 days to to have 98 percent satellite views is because they want to make sure that you have a quality install so so yeah when when you purchase them and you inst and you install it properly after 30 days um if you get if you reach that 98 percent consistently you will lock in that hex there is other factors that that come into play right like even if the miner goes offline one day in those 30 days you're, 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 it'll be impossible for you to get 98%. I mean, you could do the rewards, but if if for one of those days your miner is offline, um, you you won't be able to lock in your hex. You'll have to wait an, another 30 days. So, yeah, really the quality of the install as well as the upkeep of the miner is super important to, to lock in your hex. But to your other point about two other miners being in your hex, it's, it's possible that there's other miners in your hex, but they might not be locked. Um, so really on, on the map, on the Explorer map, you'll be able to see whether a miner is locked or not. If it's locked, it'll have a um, kind of a dark circle ar around the blue, um, around the blue dot. And if it doesn't have that dark that dark circle around it, it means that the, that the hex has not been locked yet. So, okay, now I got a question here from Tony. Tony, if a user attains 100% effective rate for 30 days and is the first in their hex to do so. Is there any additional input from user to lock their hex or will the hex lock automatically? So the hex will lock automatically. Mm -hmm. And just just one correction to uh, to what you're saying, it's not 100% effective rate, it's 98% effective rate. So there is a little margin for error. Usually that will happen for things that, that you can't control. You know, maybe some there's a gush of wind and and your your miner swayed a little bit, didn't, didn't get the satellite view. So, so there is some leeway. It's ninety-eight percent, but after the thirty days, it'll it'll lock automatically. And when that happens, you'll receive an NFT into your wallet, and that NFT is proof that you own that hex. So, so that's that's how it how it works. And is so, is, is and is that is the ninety-eight yeah. percent is that defined as the effective satellite number over the total satellite number? Okay, correct, okay. correct. That's the only that's the only factor that that uh, that is used for that calculation. Um, okay. Can I ask you yeah. a question? Um, yeah, sure, Wayne. So you, when you talk about, uh, like when you talk about that 10 degree up from, uh, from a horizontal on your left and your right, you're, you really are, if you look at that in a 360 degree, rota you know, rotation around you, uh, do you need that? 10 degree completely around because I, so in, in my particular home, I have an unobstructed view except for maybe uh, like an, like a, an arc of about maybe 30 degrees or so where I have trees that are, are uh, that are definitely higher than the 10 degree angle. So I, I guess my question is you say left and right, but you're really talking yeah. 360 degrees um 360 degrees what, what so trying, like if you were if, if you were to stand and just make turn one you know make a full okay. turn yeah that's 360 degrees so are Correct. you saying that you need that unobstructed for that full turn as you make a complete turn yeah so so imagine if you were if you were making uh making that that turn you you need it for about for about half a mile. So so the the basically like that 10 degrees, you you, you need to calculate it for about half a mile. Um so that 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 you're hitting no obstruction for 10 degrees. After that, if there's obstruction, it's okay. 
but for half a, for about half a mile um, of uh, diameter. So if you're doing 360 degrees, it's the, it's the diameter, not the radius. Um, it, that circle has to be clear for about for about half a mile. So that's, that's like the size of the circle. So it's like you're looking at like a cone, it's essentially that like a ten. Yeah. Degree. Okay. Yeah. So now, like is that. it even worth it for me to set it up in my house to try and lock in that cell if I if I already know that a portion of that 360 degrees is is blocked out, or should I find another location that I have with total unobstructed to be able to lock it in? It's it's really it's going to be like a, like like a, a case by case, Wayne. Um, I, I I think though, Wayne, you, you you signed up to our to our premium support program, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so Wayne, if 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 you want, like after this call, you can send me some pictures, and and I'll be able, I'll I'll be able to 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 guide you better oh, um, on on what I think about the install. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then also, I was just wondering about the path of the satellites. If you know where they are, that we have to be looking for. They're in, they're just literally, literally in the sky. Like uh, like they're 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 going. For, I think from all different angles. So okay. there's no there's there's no set path. Like there's no set flight path. Um, but uh, yeah, they'll 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 be in the in the sky. Okay. Thanks. No, no problem. Um, so okay, let me take Ryan's Ryan's question here. How far does the 10 degree line of sight need to be clear to the horizon? A couple of miles, hundred yards. Okay. So, so Ryan, uh, I answered your question when, when I was speaking with Wayne, uh, it's about 0.5 miles. So what about installation on a plumbing vent pipe on the roof with pipe clamps? So, okay. So, uh, Monte Fusco. Yeah, that would work. The, the very important thing that I haven't mentioned yet about the install is there cannot be any sway in, in the, in the, the, um, the antenna so you really got to make sure that you're clamping that and that it, it's a solid install and the brackets that come um default in the package of geonet they're, they're not very stable so we we do sell like a like a bracket that's a lot more stable or a lot of a lot of our customers end up getting like their own brackets because if they're if that antenna sways with, with like the wind or there's, a, there's some oscillation on the antenna um, it, it's going to be messing up the satellite readings and, and you won't be able to lock in your hex. And, and also it'll decrease your rewards. So yeah, just make sure that your, your installation uh, would work with the plumbing vent, vent pipe, but you just have to make sure that, that you're really clamping um, the, uh, that saucer solid on it. So yeah, so yeah, hurricane season, for reasons I just mentioned, will will hurt um, if you aren't careful. And again, if you're not doing a very solid install, the 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 saucer is is pretty solid, um, so it's not going to fly away or anything as long as it's as it's really uh, clamped down properly. So okay, I got Mark with a question here. Do you get 100% rewards even if you don't lock in your hex and there's no other mine in your hex? I'm receiving tokens right now, but I'm wondering how much more would it be after in after locking in or would it be the same it would be the same so locking in your hex is um all it does is it gives you ownership of that hex which means that if another miner comes into that hex they won't be stealing your rewards but if you're the only miner in your hex even if you're not if you're if if you're the only miner in your hex whether it's locked or not you'll get the same rewards so um just that that's something to keep in mind and also, when you mentioned, do you get 100% rewards even if you don't lock in your hex? To get 100% rewards is really hard. That means you're you're hitting 100% of the satellites. The way that it works, it's it's a rolling reward basis. So you'll you'll never really get 100% rewards. You need you should aim for 98% rewards. Um, so yeah, that's how that's how that would work. So Kevin, I uh, got a question. If the second guy comes into a locked hex and the first guy is only at 90. 90% for months. Does the second guy take over ownership of that hex? No. So that's the beauty. That's the beauty of, of locking in a hex. Once you lock in a hex, you own that hex. Um, and even if your rewards after locking in the hex drop below 98%, you still earn your full rewards. Um, so, so it's like, it's kind of like a first, first past the line type of, uh, type of situation. Um, you really want to be just the first one to lock it. And then even like now I've seen locked hexes with their rewards at 70%. Um, 
Um, so they're, they're only seeing 70% of the satellites, but because they, they were good for 30 days, the time that it took to walk in the hex, um, even if another miner comes in there, it'll still earn less. So yeah, just something to keep in mind. So, okay, Tony, for those of us that are not computer scientists, but have participated in other different projects, is there an Android setup app? My miner is showing on the GeoNet map, but how are tokens distributed to MetaMask? Thank you. So it's, and I'll, I, I will, I can send you a, a video that kind of explains it. GeoNet doesn't have a, an Android app. It's, um, it's, it's really online. So it's a, it's a web page that they, that, that you will use for setting up your miner. And when you do the setup, there's a, there's an option there to put in your MetaMask Polygon um, wallet address. So, so you'll have that option um, once you once you put in your wallet. You then have to check in token issuance. You have to check that that as as like on, and only after that you'll start getting your rewards. One thing to note though is as long as you you haven't earned twenty tokens, GeoNet will not distribute the rewards to you. So let's say if one day you've earned only fifteen GeoNet tokens, and you will not get rewarded for that day. But then the next day when you earn 30 tokens because you would earn 15 one day 15 the other day then they will uh, they will send those 30 tokens to you so yeah if you're not if you're not seeing your rewards right away um um like don't stress it's probably because you haven't you haven't read you haven't meet, met the 20 token uh limit so so my address has been entered in the minor tab and i've checked token issuance but i've not been able to log in to the ip of my miner does that matter thank you um i'm not 100 percent sure i don't think it would minor it, it would matter um are you able to to check your your token balance to see um if you're receiving tokens and uh, and if not we'll we'll, we'll help you uh, with that with uh with that question we have a discord group where 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 we can we can assist with that okay. um thank you yeah sure so wayne how many daily rewards for 100 percent? 100 percent is um, 24, 24, uh, tokens is, uh, for hundred percent. Now there's boosts, right? So if you're in a boosted hex, it's that it's, you get multipliers. There's some multipliers that are at six times, 12 times the rewards. So, um, but as a base, the payout is, uh, 24 tokens. So how many miners can, uh, uh I'll, I'll, I'll get back to your question, Wayne, but how many miners can we run at one location? This is from Chari. Got a Wi-Fi miner, but thought of getting a helium miner. So, so these are different projects. Um, GeoNet is a is a separate project from Helium, um, and WeatherXM is a separate project from from those guys as well. So you can put all three in your location and earn full rewards on on all three of them. And that's that's what we see a lot of our repeat customers do. Some some of our our bigger clients. They, you know, they start with Helium and then they end up getting WeatherXM as well. They end up getting Geonet. Um, they get they get uh, Demo for their car. There, there's a lot of projects and and they don't interfere in in the rewards uh, between each other. So, okay, Montefusco, does it matter if we configure Miner before physically mounted in its final location? No, no, you, uh, you are able to configure it before uh, mounting it. So what you do is is you will configure the the indoor part of the miner, uh, the GNSS plus module that that you will configure and without necessarily mounting the outdoor part, the outdoor antenna yet. Um, what it, there's a nine meter cable that comes in the box to be able to to connect your GNS um, indoor module to the outdoor antenna. So if that's not long enough, you can always get your own cable. There are I, and I have the link. Um, that I can send to you from eBay if, if you guys are, are, are looking to get that cable. But usually, most like with nine meters, you're, you're going to be able to reach uh, from the outdoor antenna to to the indoor model. So, all right, Wayne, is that twenty four going to drop? No, that that twenty four is not going to drop. Um, that twenty four is uh, is set for for the next year. Um, so un until there's another halving, uh, actually. Uh, I think it's not going to drop even for two years. So it it whenever Geonet's protocol calls for a halving, that's that's when the, the it drops. 
but they just had a having not too long ago. So it, you, it's going to be good for, for quite some time. So, okay, what is the AI chatbot that is included with the real-time diagnostic service? So the AI chatbot is uh, it's called askmokin.io, and uh, it's a chatbot, chatbot that, that we offer where you can put in information about, about your minor, and uh, and it will it will give you some some diagnostics for um, for GeoNet. The, you you will get more value out of um, not the AI chatbot but the monitoring service. So if you have a premium subscription with us and and you signed up for it, um, I would have sent you an email asking uh, uh, some information, including your your minor ID. And once you send me back that information, I can include you in our in our monitoring service. The monitoring service, what it does is it gives you your rewards every every day and it tells you if you're still on track for locking in your hex or not. You're not able to get that information from the Explorer because the Explorer only gives you the data for 24 hours. So you won't know, unless you're checking it every single day, you won't know, okay, like did I ever miss a 98% rolling rewards because I was offline? Um, you don't have a historic information like that on our monitoring service. We do so, so we really track your your miner from the moment that that it's installed until the time that you're locking in the hex, and we can tell you, hey, you're either going to lock in your hex or you're not going to lock in your hex. So that's that's really where the value will come for our, for our premium um, our premium members. So the cable for. Uh, the cable, so Montefusco, the, the cable is an LMR 400 and it has like weird endings. They're not like the, the normal endings for the cable, but I'll, I'll send you, I'll send you the, the link, uh, Montefusco and, um, uh, and, uh, and, and then you, you can take a look at, at what the specs are. So the monitoring service, is that a daily email or how, how do we get that information? It's a daily email. So in order to get that information, you need to send an email to me with your minor ID. And once I have your minor ID, um, I'm able to include you to our monitoring service platform. So um, yeah, I guess that kind of that kind of wraps up the questions in the chat. Um, I, I, I do want to take maybe we have a little bit of time left. So so I do want to uh, kind of run run you by some 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 information that uh, that that might be upcoming um, for uh, for GeoNet. So there, there's actually a hip that is out there out there to to transition um, from the Polygon network to the Solana network. It, it has not been decided yet. It's still in uh, in discussion phase, but uh, that would be a huge chain change if, if the token is no longer on the Polygon network, but then transfers over to the Solana network. So um, that's what's going on. So Kevin, your question, what is your email for us to send you the minor IDs to? I'll put my email in the chat. So yeah, that's, that's my email um, where, you, where you guys can reach out to me. And then Montefusco, can we dual mine with this miner? It does not dual mine uh, at the moment, um, but um, but maybe in the in the future it, it would be something that uh, that would be explored. But as of right now, it only mines the GeoNet tokens. So one last thing that uh, I kind of wanted to show you guys is uh, I wanted to go back into the map over here and just run you guys some basic information on how this map works and kind of how to read it. So when you come over here, this is what we call a super hex. This blue area is a super hex. And when when you have a dot with a, with a black circle around it, it means that, that the miner has been locked. So if you click on, on this dot, for example, it'll show you that that this miner is locked and it's earning twelve times that the the daily payouts. So daily payouts I mentioned were twenty four tokens. So this one is earning twelve times twenty four tokens every day. And you see the rolling rewards is no is no longer at ninety eight percent. He's getting ninety six percent. But his miner has been online for one hundred and eighty five days. So at one point he did maintain it to ninety eight percent for thirty days. And then once he locked in the hex, it didn't matter if his rewards dropped down a little bit. 
You can see, for example, this miner over here, which is another one in the hex. This miner over here, he, he locked in his hex, but inside this super hex, this one locked in first. This miner has only been online for 155 days. So he, he still is getting the full rewards of his hex. If there's a new miner that comes into, its, into his hex, they, they will not be getting his same rate of rewards. He's hitting 99%. So he him, he's locked and he's still reaching a good reward basis, but he's only getting six times the payout because this guy already got the 12 times the payout since he locked it first. So that's kind of the, the idea behind this, right? Like whether you're in a super hex or normal hex, the most important thing is that you lock it in. So I will, I will, um, I will stop the presentation here. Um, so my email address, if, if you don't see it, Kevin, it's Marcus, M-A-R-C-U-S, at heliumdeploy.io. So uh, Mark, if you want to be added to the, to the Discord channel, um, you can send me an email with your Discord ID and, and we, will, we will include you into, uh, into the channel. So uh, that kind of wraps it up, guys. Um, and and uh, for sure, for sure. And uh, yeah, we're, we're actually having a drop right now for, for GeoNet. You guys already have your, your unit, so, so you're covered. But if ever you guys have another location or, or something like this, um, we have a drop with, with units available uh, going on right now. So, um, so I, I do want to thank you guys a lot for uh, for coming in, joining in the presentation, and uh, you have my email. So, if you have any questions about your setup, um, about locking in your hex, feel free to reach out, and and I'll I'll be avail available to to help you guys out. All right, guys, thanks so much.